Good morning, everyone. There's a story of a fellow who came to shul before Shabbat, and he realized he had a $100 bill in his pocket. Because you're not allowed to handle money on Shabbat, he decided to hide his money in the synagogue till after Shabbat. So he's thinking, what's a safe place? So he opened up a Chumash, a, t- a Torah Bible, and he turned to the Ten Commandments where he says, Thou shalt not steal. And he put the $100 on that page, figuring nobody would steal when they see the commandment, Thou shalt not steal. After Shabbat and Havdalah was over, he went back to open the Chumash and find this $100 bill. But to his shock and dismay, it wasn't there. Couldn't believe it that someone would steal it from a page that says, Thou shalt not steal. As he continued to flip through the pages, he sees a $50 bill. And he looks at the page, and there is the commandment, Love your neighbor as yourself. This week's Torah portion has the commandment, Love your neighbor as yourself, which is very relevant to today. Because we begin today, Rosh Chodesh Iyar, which is the only month on the Jewish calendar that we have a special mitzvah every day, which is to count the Omer. But these are the days that are the days of mourning for the students of Rabbi Akiva who died. That's why there are no weddings and celebrations during this period up until Lagba Omer, because they didn't treat each other with proper respect. And therefore their teacher Rabbi Akiva taught that the commandment in this week's Torah portion, love your neighbor as yourself, is the most important commandment in the Torah. And the question is, what does it mean to love your neighbor as yourself? Does it literally mean that you should love them like yourself? Is that even possible? Does that mean I have to give half my possessions to someone else because I love them like myself? And so one of the interpretations given is that what it means to say is, love your neighbor and treat them as the way you treat yourself. Just like you're happy for yourself when you experience blessings and success, be happy for someone else. Wish the same for someone else. Don't begrudge someone else. And you need a commandment for that because it's not necessarily easy. Because unfortunately sometimes we fall into the trap of measuring our self-worth against the success of others. And therefore sometimes you begrudge someone else. And therefore the Torah has to say no. Just like you want all the blessings and happiness for yourself, wish the same upon someone else. A beautiful example of loving your neighbor as yourself occurred in Israel this week. There's a young woman, her name is Noga Weiss. She's 18 years old. She's from Kibbutz Be'eri. And on October 7th, her father, Ilan, was murdered by the Hamas terrorists. And she and her mother, Shiri, were taken as hostages into Gaza. Thankfully, she was released with her mother and the deal and the trade of November. This week, she enlisted to serve in the IDF. And when she was asked, how can you go serve in the IDF after the trauma and the pain that you've gone through? And she responded by saying that when I was in captivity as a hostage, and finally the day of my freedom came, the first thing they did was took us to a place called Karen Shalom. And there, there was a whole hangar filled with IDF soldiers waiting for us. And she said, the minute I saw these soldiers, I felt safe. And she said, it was right then and there that I decided that I want to enlist in the IDF as well, because I want to provide that feeling of safety and protection for every single Jew in Israel. That is what it means to love your neighbor as yourself. The same blessings and goodness that you received, you should do unto others and wish the same for others. Let us observe and celebrate this mitzvah and merit to see the freedom of all of our hostages and this victory of the Jewish people, which will only come through our love and our unity. Wishing everyone a good month. Chodesh Tov.